The GTX 1070 specifications have been revealed and I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm disappointed. Let's find out why. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a quick discussion on the GTX 1070 and why I may consider not buying one at all, even though I was so eager in the upcoming weeks to this video to buy one. Now, the main metric we're going to be looking at today is the CUDA cores, which in an NVIDIA graphics card is essentially the heart and soul of the GPU. You could call it somewhat what an engine is to a car. It's the main driver of performance. Now, with the GTX 1070, we're only going to get 1,920 CUDA cores as opposed to the GTX 1080, which is sporting 2,560 CUDA cores. In other words, it's got 33% more CUDA cores this time around. Now, if we contrast that to previous generations of NVIDIA graphics cards, we can see that the GTX 670 sported 1,344 CUDA cores versus the GTX 680 which sported 1536. In other words we had a 14% increase in CUDA cores and that wasn't in the different league. When we look at the GTX 970 which had 1664 CUDA cores versus the GTX 980 we could see that that had 2048. In other words it had a 24.5% increase in CUDA cores. Okay it was a bigger gap than the GTX 670 to the 680 but it still meant that the GTX 970 was still in the same league as the 980 after you started overclocking it and applying some tweaks, not to mention it had the same type of memory on board. And now finally, looking at this generation of graphics card to be released, we've got the GTX 1080, which is already sporting some pretty impressive figures out of the box. Though with the GTX 1070 sporting some significantly lower core counts there, I have my concerns on how this card will actually perform in the real world. This time around, is it going to be a true sister card? In my opinion, no. It's going to be in a lower tier performance bracket than the GTX 1080, which is kind of disappointing for a price performance enthusiast like myself, which has always looked forward to buying those younger sister cards. Now you may be stopping me there and saying, Brian, but this card is coming in at a much lower price point than the GTX 1080. And yes, that is true though. If we look at the relative price performance premium that you're going to be paying with this graphics card, we could see that the price performance premium is only 18.8%. That is after we add the difference in price there and equate the difference in CUDA cores, we can see that we're paying an 18.8% premium for that GTX 1080 performance. Not to mention it has GDDR5X. Though comparing that to the previous generation 980 and 970, we can see that the 980 although it only had 24.5% more CUDA cores, it sported a massive 34% increase in relative price performance, not to mention it carried the same type of memory. So coming out of this, I'm a little bit confused as what I'm going to do on launch day. I was going to buy a GTX 1070, but since Nvidia are nerfing the sister card that damn much, I don't know what I'm going to do now. And I don't know if I'm even going to buy a GTX 1080 since the price gouging in Japan is going to be quite high. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this and what you guys think of enthusiasts and drop a comment in the comment section below. And also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.